Kinetic Energy Equations, Calculating Kinetic Energy by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. The formula for the kinetic energy stored in an object is E kinetic energy equals half times m mass times speed squared, v squared. So E stands for the energy stored in the kinetic energy store of the object. Half is literally just the number 0 0.5, half. m is mass, and v squared is speed squared. So in the first worked example, this car has a mass of 500 kilograms and it has a speed of zero meters per second. It is stationary. So the energy stored in the car's kinetic energy store is going to be E equals, and because it's energy, the unit is joules, equals half, which is 0 0.5, times its mass, which is 500 kilograms, times by V squared, its speed squared. Because it's stationary, that will be zero squared. So the car has got zero joules stored in its kinetic energy store. This is because it's stationary, it's not moving. The same car of 500 kilograms increases its speed to 10 meters per second. To calculate the energy stored in the kinetic energy store of the car, you simply multiply 0 0.5 times its mass, 500 kilograms, times its speed squared, which is 10 meters per second squared. So that gives you the kinetic energy stored in this car of 25,000 joules. So a person who's got a mass of 100 kilograms gets into the car. So the car now has a total mass of 600 kilograms and it's still traveling at a speed of 10 meters per second. So to calculate the energy stored in the kinetic energy store of the car, you multiply 0 0.5 times the mass, 600 kilograms, times its speed squared, so that'll be 10 squared. That'll give you an answer of 30,000 joules of energy stored in its kinetic energy store. So if you increase the mass, the energy stored in the kinetic energy store will increase. If you increase the speed the object is moving at, you will also increase the kinetic energy stored in the object. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. You can pause the video here and attempt these questions. The answer will follow and I will go through them. So because we're trying to calculate the kinetic energy stored in these objects, we don't have to rearrange the equation. We just simply recall E equals 0 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. E equals half mv squared. And now we just substitute in the numbers. So kinetic energy equals 0 0.5 times 1000 kilograms times 12 meters per second. We square the 12. That gives you a total kinetic energy of 72,000 joules stored in the kinetic energy store of this object. For the second example, we recall E equals 0 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. And we just simply substitute in the numbers. E equals 0 0.5 times 1000 kilograms times 6 squared, which gives you a kinetic energy stored in this object of 18,000 joules. This last example, kinetic energy equals half mv squared. So now you substitute in the numbers. E equals 0 0.5 times 10,000 kilograms times 200 meters per second. We need to square the 200 meters. So the kinetic energy stored in this rocket is 200 million joules. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.